Geometric transformations are another example of a very rare topic, but we're going to cover it because it is technically within their rights to ask. So the first kind of geometric transformation is a translation, and that's basically just moving uh, a shape. So if I have some triangle, let me create some coordinate axes here. So I have coordinate axes, and I have a triangle in this coordinate axes, and I perform some kind of translation on it, that's just moving it in space according to whatever the translation tells you to do. So maybe like two units up and five to the right or something like that. All right, so that's just a translation, it's just a movement. A dilation is either magnifying or shrinking a shape. So for instance, let's say I've got a triangle and then I dilate it like, let's say three times, it just makes the triangle three times as big. And notice this is where we get similar triangles from. By dilating triangles, you know, making them bigger, making them smaller, but keeping them in proportion. The next is a rotation. So again, let's imagine we've got some, I don't know, let's imagine we've got the letter A. So when you rotate something, you rotate it about a point. So we could rotate this about the center. And if we rotated it 90 degrees counterclockwise, it would look something like this, right? That's a rotation. And we can keep rotating it so it's upside down. And now this way, and then eventually back to where we started, right? That's just a rotation. A reflection, whereas a rotation is done around a point, a reflection is done across a line. So imagine I've got this shape, and I reflect it about this shape. Well, what is it going to look like? Well, it's going to basically map on this side exactly so that there's symmetry to the picture. Right? We're reflecting this as if it were a mirror over the line. And finally, it's a point about symmetry. So symmetry, you can actually have line symmetry, which we've just seen, and you can have point symmetry, which is when you rotate an object if it maintains the same uh, appearance. And symmetry is just about that idea, so that there are certain lines or points about which you can reflect or rotate something, and it will look the same when you perform that operation. So the best example is to look at some letters. So let's look at A, W, E, R, and X. So what kind of symmetries do these have? Well, A, notice has the line symmetry right down the middle because you've got the same thing on both sides. If I reflected the left side over this line, you would just get the right side. It would be the same kind of thing on both sides. You have the same shape. But notice that's it. There's no other symmetry in this. Same thing with this guy. There's one right down the middle, but that's about it. This guy doesn't have a line of symmetry up and down, but it does have a horizontal line of symmetry, right? I can fold it over this line and it looks the same. R, on the other hand, has no symmetry whatsoever. There's nothing I can do to this R. Whereas the X, notice it has this line of symmetry. It's got a line of symmetry over here. It's also got a diagonal line of symmetry and another diagonal line of symmetry. And it's got point symmetry because I can rotate this X, uh, in this case with this shape X, 180 degrees, and it will look the same thing. So this is a highly symmetrical object, whereas this is not. Right? So that's just the basis, basics about symmetry uh, and some other geometric transformations.